Thinking Routine 7. I used to think, but now... You have two different coloured sticky notes on your desk. You have a lovely yellow one and a lovely orange one, okay? Now the yellow one says, I used to think... So these are what you used to think about maps before. Before we started studying maps. So you have to think a long way back. And we're going to write those on the yellow note. How many do you think we'll write on the yellow note? How many ideas? Lydia? One. One. Just one idea per note. You've got plenty. And if you run out, I'll have extras for you. So just let me know. Okay? On the orange ones, we're going to write what we now think. Okay? How our thinking has changed and what we now think maps are about and what they're for. All right? So they'll go on the orange one. Yeah, I used to think the same as you, pretty much. Yeah. That, like, there's only one sort of map, street maps and stuff. Not like, um, yeah, like, I didn't know labelling the body was actually kind of map. Yeah. But now we think that to try and maps. like the mind maps and yeah. things. And we also like pictures can maps. Picture maps, mind maps. I used to think that maps could only be a road map or a street directory or something like that, but now I think that they can be anything like a contour map or a picture map or thinking maps, like leading on. I sort of, I used to think that maps were only to show like your way around places and where places are, but now I know that maps can have very many different forms and um, different meanings and to show different things, like how an Aboriginal painting can show the different heights of the land. I thought maps also only showed the world and the streets and where places are, but now I know that they can show pictures of the human body and they can help doctors and people to know which bone they are if they looked at a map. Often you can just uh, even just stop and think, oh, well, we do a thinking routine and see what's going on in their heads at the moment. Um, it gives you a way of knowing where they are and understanding where they're at about what it is that you're talking about. Um, it, uh, they're very quick, they're very easy to do. It doesn't take ages to sort of learn how to do them and in a couple of minutes you can have a wealth of information that you would not have found in a test or even sometimes in a written piece or just by talking to them. Well, remember how we the visual aspects like the headlines routine and like the I used to think but now I think, actually putting them up makes them more aware of their own thinking and it also shows um, what's sort of happening in the classroom as well, gives you an overarching picture. Also it means that often rather than asking something they're more likely to problem solve and think about what it is that they're doing themselves because they're surrounded by thinking and that that's when you're here that's what we do and by displaying it it's certainly you know there and